Hey, what's up everybody? Rob Marzullo here, Ram Studio Comics. Welcome back. So today's video, I'm doing a Spawn fan art piece on the iPad Pro uh, in Procreate. And this is the time-lapse kind of video that Procreate does inside of the program as you're working. So uh, it's a little bit different than the other time-lapses that I do because I'll generally record with uh, Camtasia and does a little bit different, uh, I want to say a little bit different uh, frame rate or something. But... But, you know, this is still doable, and it allows me to really focus on just telling you how I feel about the piece and what what choices I made real quick as we go through it. So, at any rate, I'm really enjoying using the iPad Pro. Procreate's a phenomenal software. There's uh, there's lots of great apps out there, but I think for the ease of use and the, uh, the you know, viable use of it and lots of options, I, I think it's still great. It does like some things, but not much. You know, it's still real doable. So you see I sketched it in real rough, and I go right to blocking in some colors, which I'll refer to as flats. Even when I paint, I think this is a great way to paint. Uh, I start by painting behind the line work with some flats, and then I'll um, slowly work up and above the line work. Uh, and in some cases, I actually will delete and erase the line work. I actually didn't do that at all in this painting. I painted simply, I simply kept painting until the line work was gone. Um, so I don't know if that's a great way to do it or, you know, right way or anything like that. It's just a way. Um, so like I said, I start behind the line work, then I build up layers over top of the line work, and you'll see the end result, and you can be the judge if, if you like that particular style. Uh, kind of the reason I was doing that is I didn't finish the line work enough to want to leave it in the, the piece, but I, I get caught up in wanting to leave some line work because... I grew up doing comics so much that I just have a hard time not wanting to put lines in, in my work. So, uh, force a habit, I guess. So, I use primarily the soft round brush, uh, or it's just kind of like the first brush in the painting set, to get a lot of the blocked in tones. And then I do a little bit of soft brush. I almost don't do any blending with this program. I do a little bit, but I don't really like the way the blending brushes work, or I haven't figured them out quite yet. Um... But it's not to say that it's, you know, it's not very doable. It's, uh, I'm still very new to the program. Uh, but you can do a lot with soft brushes anyways. And if you hold your finger over top of any area you're painting for a few seconds, it'll select that color. So that's actually what I'm doing a lot in here. I'll select the color and I'll softly paint back and, you know, with the soft brush. And then I'll put in hard brush effects for areas that I think need to have, you know, obviously a, a tighter edge or whatever. Uh, and I just really repeat that process. So, and then trying to get little, you know, glares and highlights in different places. Um, Procreate actually has a really nice set of luminous uh, brushes, which work really well. I use some of those for the power, um, just because it automatically gives you that luminous effect. And just keep in mind, if we're doing power, a really quick and easy way to do it is just block in whatever colors. I could have added some more darker tones to round out the shapes of the power. And then just take white and put it in the very brightest spot. And that's the same way you do lightning, power, you see his eyes are like that. It's really easy and effective. Uh, so you just picture that wherever you're putting that white, and maybe even a touch of yellow or whatever, the next uh, brighter color, uh, is just a very, like the hottest part of the power or the energy or whatever. And from there you just add different layers of glow effects, um, either set to color dodge or whatever blending mode you're using. Uh, add works, but color dodge is one of my favorites. And you just apply that to different areas with the same color so it looks like it's glowing off onto the other surfaces. So, anyways, that's how I do it. So I figured I'd share that with you. But So, you know, looking back, it's almost done. And, and there's there's just certain things that I didn't get right. You know, I always like to do that, look at my work objectively and go, oh, what, what could I do better? I don't like how small I made the chains. I wish I could have got a little bit more texture into the piece. I, I ultimately didn't texture very much at all. You can see I copied the skull and then erased parts of it to put it behind his hand. So I cheated there. But um, but yeah, so there's there's things that you know could be better about the piece. Overall, I'm happy with it. And time-wise, I think it only took me about four hours, maybe five at the most. You know, sketching, painting, everything. So to me, that's not bad. And, and I just love the portability of the iPad Pro. I mean, just can't knock it. I mean, I'm, I'm, I did this piece all around the house. I sat on the deck for a bit. I mean... You know, you can just move around and draw and paint, which is fantastic. You know, 
do I get the same level of finish that I'd probably get on my Cintiq? Pretty darn close. I mean, maybe a hair less, but I'm still new to it. So I don't think, you know, I've had a few people ask me, is this a viable alternative? I, I really think it is. I mean, I can't say it's not other than there's just a few more tools that you'll get with your full desktop setup. These are apps, not full programs. So, so that's about it. So I thank you for tuning in and uh, watching this. Hopefully you like the art and uh, more on the way real soon. So uh, let me know what you think. Follow me on Gumroad to uh, see my other video tutorials and custom brushes. And keep drawing, keep having fun, and I will talk to you soon.